Okay, today I'd like to just show you a quick advantage of using a laptop as a home theater PC. You know, right now we've got some home improvement show going on on the big screen. And down there you see there's a laptop. So what we've done is we've got a laptop running Windows 7 and it's hooked up to an external hard drive for additional data storage. And it's run by an HDMI cable into one of the inputs on the TV. So we're just going to change the input on the TV and tell it to go to HDMI 2, which is going to switch it over to the laptop. There you go. Now there's your desktop. Now this laptop has been set up to ignore the fact that the lid is closed. So I can close the lid and just leave it in the TV stand, just like another appliance. It just as if it was a DVD player or Blu-ray. Okay. Now we have our regular Windows experience. You could look at it as the big screen is now just a big monitor. And we have a wireless keyboard with a few differences. It's a wireless keyboard but it, this functions as a touchpad here for your mouse just like on a laptop you see the number keys, it, it could be a calculator as well, but that's the, the touchpad for the mouse. And then over here it has some media keys. And you'll see that green one. That launches a program called Media Center, which is native to Windows 7 and Vista. So I'm going to press that button now. And what's going to happen is the computer is going to open up a great program called Media Center. Uh, kill the background light and you'll see the choices for what we're going to do. We're going to launch movies and there you go. Now this is his library of movies and I'm just taking the mouse and I'm just scrolling through them. Now some it, it will rec it will go out and get the cover art and the poster art for these movies and it'll come back and populate them there they are I don't know why it went away so I can pick a movie and come down to it for instance Gran Torino and tap on my mouse on the um, on the laptop or on the keyboard and I, I'm gonna get my synopsis and I come down here, or you'll see the mouse moving around over there in the lower left. This particular keyboard's not good. I wouldn't recommend this keyboard, but you can see I can scroll through basically everything off of IMDb if you're familiar with that. Alrighty, so if I want to watch a movie, it's as simple as just selecting it and telling it to play. Okay, I picked one that it's having trouble with. So I'm going to exit Media Center, but it, it does play all those movies. He's got, I don't know, 150 movies or so. But now what else can we do? We're going to come back to our desktop. Well, anything you can do on a PC, you can do on this. So we'll go to Google Chrome. He uses Chrome for his browser. And there you go, there's Google. But we can also do Facebook. Anything you can do with the computer. And YouTube can be really cool because for instance this is a Reno balloon air race so I'm just gonna hit play on on YouTube and you'll see on YouTube there are some changes like this 360 here that's the resolution so I can go up to 720 HD and improve the 
the quality and then go here for full screen and there you go and that's this is all coming over the laptop wirelessly um, Wi-Fi so I'm gonna come back down into regular here and I'll just pause that so you can do maps you can do all kinds of stuff and as you see that's just coming over the internet so I thought you might enjoy that